Put that food in my teeth. Nobody's looking to help out a buddy. No. I'm so cold. I'm well, like, I'm sorry we sit by the fire. Welcome to my life. <laughs> I didn't even get to study for this test. Nope. Well, you should have been studying. I'm gonna fail. I didn't study, and if I do fail, I'll flip the table. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> yes, we Watch will. me. If you fail, <laughs> let's see. You um, last time I had a. No so more turnips! Do, no more turnips, but how about you help me spread compost? No! Yeah. Just mess. I'm sorry, I just suddenly lo lost all my motor function and ability, and I can't use my hands, so therefore I can't spread. Um, you, so, you got something to I'm helping you. I'll look right pretty there. Okay, so it's been a while since I tested the girls on their Appalachian language. We have a couple of other videos you can check out if you want to see the others. Usually I give them some kind of chore if they fail, so I'm thinking. No, whatever it is, the answer is no. I'll flip the table. <laughs> You're not flipping the table. Uh, I'm thinking, I don't know, I might need help. Maybe it's, it's getting to be spring of the year before you know it, so we're thinking we're in gardening mode. Maybe I need some help spreading compost. But Appalachian language is dear to my heart, but with each generation, we lose a little bit of it. Of course, I, I don't use a lot of the words that Granny and Pap both used and Corey and Katie don't always use the words that I use, Matt and I use. So it's just something I'm really passionate about. And if I feel like if we talk about it, hopefully we'll hang on to some of those words for longer. Okay, give so, me the first word, go! Are you ready? Yeah. You accept the challenge. Challenge accepted. I didn't study for this test, but I'm gonna fake it. Okay. If you win, I'll take all your belongings. Keep that in mind. <laughs> what? Okay, number one, or the first one, Outlander. What is an Outlander? Someone who keeps to themselves because they are an introvert and they hate people. Me. Someone who's not from the region? That's yes. it. <laughs> Outlander, the famous show. I was going to say Netflix, the Netflix show you uh -huh. mean? I give it a good try and I am just was lying when I said I'm an introvert. <laughs> yeah, right. So Outlander, someone that, like Corey said, not from the region. What is piddling? Piddling. Just piddling around, messing around, just killing time, wasting time. We need a buzzer so I get a chance to even talk. Okay, well, Corey answered that one. We'll let you answer the next one. Let's have we'll do go back and forth. And then if you can't, you have to yield to the other. How about that? Okay. Okay, there is another use for a piddling, though. If you just have a piddling amount, what does that mean? A small Modern. amount. Yeah, okay. What did I say? <laughs> All right, so it's Katie's turn. Pitch. <coughs> pitch. To pitch something out with the dishwater because you don't want it. Yeah. Or it could be, could a person, if they, like it's the top of a bank and they... Oh, they pitch, pitch over it. Pitch over. Or it's pitch black dark. Yeah. Or it's it pitch because I'm working with an asphalt company now and we're putting our pitch down <laughs> to mix with our tar with our asphalt. Comment below if you want us to install asphalt at your house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, what is a play pretty? This is Corey's play pretty. Just a toy, something Me. to play with. <laughs> I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, the Katie. Prize. Now, of course, not prize as in you got your play pretty for your prize, but if you're prizing something, what do you do? You're appraising something. No. Yeah. No? Yeah. <laughs> no. Say if it again. Pri prize. If you're prizing on something, maybe you've got a chisel or a... You're prying on it? Are you no, trying to say you're grinding You're working on it. You're, you're grinding it away. You've got to prize it out of the ground. I'm prizing that rock out. You're getting it out of the prying. ground. Prying. You are prying it out of the ground. <laughs> you said prize. Okay. Pop skull, Corey. Pop skull? <laughs> I can <I'm>, demonstrate <laughs> I'm feeling head trauma. Head injuries. Uh, Cranial issues. Pop skull. Is it... Is it like an action or an expression? It's something. A flower? It's a thing. No, that's something know. else. I really don't know this one. Alcohol. Poor, poor made alcohol. Like, because like, it, it will pop your skull because it will oh, give you nice. a headache. Yeah. I so, see. Poor, poor quality homemade low, liquor. Low quality alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Pap called it, alcohol. This is what he said. Um, <clears throat> okay, Katie, pooch out. If something pooches out, what does that mean? It sticks out. That's why you gotta wear a belt, cause for some people their belly pooches out over their belt, okay. and it keeps their pants down. That's why you gotta <laughs> pull your pants up, cause you got something pushing it down. <laughs> okay, Corey. Uh, point blank. To like, I mean, not to be violent, but all I can really think about is shooting someone or something. <laughs> point, blank point blank range. So maybe I'll give you a sentence. So, Katie is point blank silly. Just like very. 
yeah. like a word to describe a lie, yeah. like point blank, or maybe cut straight to the point. Right, exact, yeah, like you said, yeah, very, or exact. Sometimes you'll hear people say plum blank instead of a point, plum blank, okay. Katie, pick up. Pick up. Yeah, so let me use this one in a, in a sentence for you. <laughs> the little magnets on my guitar. <laughs> I was going to say there's something women love about a pickup truck. I was going to start singing the Joe Diffie song. <laughs> right, there's so many of them. But So what if I said, I seen um, Helen down at the store and she's really picked up. She is busy. She looks better. No, she, she looks good. She gained weight. She's, oh, okay. So she does look better. <laughs> so needs like, to stop eating the dippies. <laughs> well, usually, usually, <laughs> usually said like in a she's picked up means she looks better. She was too thin. Okay. She's like sickly. Perked up. You sure you wouldn't say um, you could catch my truck on fire and roll it down a hill? <laughs> <laughs> Still wouldn't trade it for a coupe de ville. Yeah. Okay, Corey. Red up. If I ask you to red up the kitchen, what if I ask you to do? Get ready. Ready either, the kitchen. Either clean it, clean it up, or get it ready to bake it. <laughs> no, red up the kitchen means get the kitchen cleaned up and get it ready for whatever you're gonna do, right? It means clean up. Yeah, pick up, clean up, put up. Sorry. Is that red? Is in R E D or R E A D? R E D. R E D. Red. But I've seen it spelled or just red R E D, but also R E D D. So, Katie, what is a redemption? Remption. A remption? Yeah. Use it in a sentence, please. Um, <laughs> this is our one sentence. <laughs> yeah. So go down at Granny's and get me a remption of sugar. Remption of sugar. That sounds portion. Like a... <laughs> that sounds like a portion. Yeah. A measured amount of something that you desire to have, like sugar, flour, whatever. Okay. Corey, your turn. What is a rattle trap? Uh, Tim so... Ryan made that one time. Remember that? No. Golly, that was so funny. Remember we would go to the um, fairs and he would say that there's rattles. He's got oh. rattlers, rattlers in a box and he would take a nickel from kids <laughs> and he would shake that box and it would sound like there was rattlers in it, but it was baby rattles. Actual baby toys <laughs> in that box rattling and he'd take those nickels and not give them back to those kids either <laughs> and play the cruel trick on them. That was funny. Yeah, it was funny. Can you use it in it's really sentence? hilarious. So we've had a few rattle traps over the years. So just a rattlesnake? No. <laughs> We're not. No, I didn't mean to Some I'm not people getting you a trap with the snakes. Katie's vehicle is one. A piece of crap? <laughs> a hunk of junk? A crap Unreliable? Uh, an unreliable, yes. Vehicle. Un unreliable. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've heard, I've had people say that about my car, but I'm going to tell you something right now. My car will be here when God comes back. Yeah, and so I'll still be driving it, and he'll be saying, poor, beautiful Katie. No, I love <laughs> he would Katie's lift car. you up out of the forerunner. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm going to send to heaven, is All in right. my forerunner. <laughs> All right, Katie, your turn. Raise up. Raise up means get up. How do you hear it most often from people like me, though? Raise up to the challenge. <laughs> That's rise up. Oh. I was raised up. I was raised up <coughs> in Butcher Holler. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Brass Town, but that works, yes. Okay, Corey, if something's raggedy. It's just wore out. Yeah. Unreliable piece of trash. It's just ragged. Are we ragged. talking about my car again? It's just no. ragged, but we say raggedy instead of just yeah. ragged. Raggedy Ann and Andy. I had a raggedy Ann and Andy. Mm -hmm. They're here somewhere, probably in the closet. Okay, Katie, this is just a, new, a, a different usage for the word, but run, of course we know what run means, but what do we use it like? Make a run of... Green soap. beans. Yeah. Liquor. Liquor. Or soap, I use that. So make a make run of, of, or you had a run of bad luck. Yeah. We're running something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For Corey, this is a perfect one for her because she says this part of this, I mean, just you'll know, ruinate. Oh. Just to mess something up. Yeah, so if you ruinate something. You tore it up. Yeah, you, you didn't mean to. You meant to do a good job, but you didn't, and now it's over. And, and then you broke. can even have total ruination. Destruction. Everything's ruined. Doom, yes. gloom, and despair. So I said that was Corey's because she says ruin. She I don't say it like that anymore. She used to say it wrong. And she couldn't say, like, oh, man, I didn't mean to do that, but now I ruined my shirt because I spilled something on it. She'd be like... What did you used to say? I just couldn't pronounce it right until like a ruined, week ago. <laughs> ru ruined. She put some weird like non yeah, she wasn't vowel saying, that wasn't supposed to go in there. A lot of people in Appalachia and the South say "runt." She didn't, wasn't saying that. She was saying 
I don't even. I, don't I, know I can't even pronounce it, but I'm, I think it had something to do with the emphasis on the vowel. Your vowels were wrong okay. in that. Katie, what is rip rap? This is this should you just should know this. Rich rat. Rip rap. Rich, rich rat. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> rich rat. No. I have a picture of him on my wall and a magazine where he's wearing purple pants. He looked very nice. Okay. What was the word? Rip rap. Rip, rip rap. Something you deal with every day. People's bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> my own bull crap. <laughs> no. Rip rap. Rip rap. Rats. <laughs> Wild animals, rats with swords, patrolling the metropolitan areas. It's large pit rock, large gravel, large, so that they put it places where it washes. Oh, oh yeah, like in the like river. The yes, yeah. And now certainly. I remember about that. Yeah. Dang, yeah. I hadn't. I knew there was something familiar about that. Yeah. So maybe what rich wrath was found in the rip rap. Yeah. Okay, Corey. If you wrench something, you put like a uh, like a. Uh, kink in it, mess it up, tear it up. I don't know, like a wrench. Yeah, I wrenched my back. It's broke. You but you also something up, mess something up. Something bad happens. Yeah, it could be like what Katie said. But also, if you wash the dishes, then you wrench uh, rag. Okay, yeah, I definitely wouldn't say that. But you know, Granny says it. Wrench. I wouldn't. I'd just say, look, this one's wash and wrench. I would say no. I never wrench. said that. I'm like, let's do. The, somebody get in here and wash these dishes. I don't say yeah. wash. Katie don't wash. <laughs> get in here, Corey. <laughs> I made these dishes, but somebody else is going to wash them because i got to go do stuff. Okay, Corey, if you have... Or whose turn is it? I think it's Corey's. No, is it back to I you? think it's back to Katie. Okay, Katie. Katie. Right smart. I have a right smart amount of garbage in my head. I have a right, smel uh, right smart amount of nothing in my head. <laughs> okay, Corey. If you set store by something... Set store. You put something up? You set it to store? <laughs> set store. I don't know, either of you set sets you should have a sentence. Pap set store by people who were honest. So he sets he goes he, he had a vote of confidence. <laughs> it's kinda like saying a vote of confidence, I set store by. So he I so take trust his, in your word. No, I listen. by his good morals, other people could trust him. No, he's no. trusting other he's people. He's trusting them by oh, saying he set okay. story. So he's like I set store in the fact that stop. Katie I is always going to be, be, no, be have have rocks in her life. Yeah. I, I would say you put stock it. in. I, that's right. what I would say. I put stock in the fact that this dog that we have will tear the furniture up. Okay, well set store by is another way to say it. It's my turn. Okay. Say. What is a saw briar? Oh, oh I, I saw one of them over the weekend. Those are just briars that are huge. Briars that are that they, big yes, around. Seriously. Olive was biting one yesterday and I was like, oh. Saw briars that. ain't the little ones. They're the They're like the sticks ones. with briars. <laughs> Thick sticks. Okay. Uh, whose turn? I'm losing track. Katie now. Katie. Okay, spraddle. Spraddle. Spraddle legged? Yep. Spraddle. I had a chicken that was spraddle legged. Almost died, but I fixed it with a band aid. So squinch, Corey. Like that? Yep, there you go. <laughs> hey! Okay. That was just a guess. Okay, snarl. Snarl? Are you trying to say snarl? I'm pretty I'm sure you're trying snarl. to say. Okay, well, if I was going <laughs> to. You snarl at something or something yeah, snarled at like you. Yes, it's a, it's a pronunciation <laughs> of snarl. You're right. <laughs> Chihuahua style. Wake up. Okay, Corey. <laughs> sodi. Community. What's sodi? Bacon soda. Okay. Katie, if you spark. It means you're courting somebody. Mm -hmm. You dating. What's a splatterment? You make a mess. Dang, we're getting good. If you swipe off something, Katie. You clean it swipe off. off. Swipe off the sweat. Swipe off the counter. <laughs> swipe off the people that don't think I can live my life how mm -hmm. I want to live it. <laughs> okay, this is good for both of you, but Corey can answer it. Stub up if you stub up. Something I still do even in my adult life. I'm just stubborn and like when I take all of it out in the mornings and it's cold and she just Stiff legs and step up on something. You refuse to comply. Refuse to comply. Yeah. Okay. Sweet milk, Katie. Sweet and condensed milk. No. <laughs> um, you have sweet milk and you have buttermilk. Sweet milk is regular. It's milk. whole milk. Whole milk, normal yeah. milk, and none. Of, I'm not talking about that two percent stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't even. Try to grow milk, strong so. bones so I can get them rocks up here. So I got to do whole milk. So if you're stingy, you get. You just stingy with your stuff and you don't want to share. Selfish. 
Not to be confused with shellfish. <laughs> Which some people have an allergy to. <laughs> <Gosh. laughs> okay. Not me though, and I don't really like seafood anyway, so I, I don't, don't have, have a seafood. problem. seafood. What does take after me and Katie? I take after my dad. He has a temper and so do I. I take after. Cory takes after mom. Cory's very nice. <laughs> okay, Cory, what if you're touch us? Just need you guys to think about the word touch us and then look at me. <laughs> Just being real like fickle. fickle about everything. Picky. Me. Difficult. Do, yeah. Just yeah, touch okay. us. Just picky about stuff. Fickle. Like you say the wrong thing Sensitive. to someone and they'll cry for two days about it. Okay, Katie. Tangle foot. Drink, drink, drunk. People who drink too much and yeah. can't walk. Okay, well, kind of, if they've been drinking, but Tanglefoot usually is just a, a whiskey, but yes, you're on the right track. Oh, so. I, I know it for the actual alcohol itself. I just thought that's what happens to you when you've been you, drinking you drink too much. Your feet get tangled. Yeah, because yeah. you drink, drink, drunk. You can't walk. Yeah. Drink, drink, okay. drunk. Okay, Corey. <laughs> drunk on drugs! <laughs> what about tore down? Um, really that could be two things. Either like you're actually, something got tore down like a building, or maybe it means going back to the drunk thing like, we're gonna get tore down tonight. That's so dumb. That's something I that don't know. Dad said, that's what they said, all the people when he was young, that's what they said. Yeah, we're gonna get tore down this weekend. Now it's we're gonna get turned up. That was in 2010. Maybe. That, yeah, or we're gonna get, never mind. We're gonna get crazy, I don't know. We're gonna get crunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. Alright. Uh, Katie, if you throw something up to somebody, throw up to, what does that mean? Not to be confused with the stomach virus. Yeah, um, yeah I was spilling. Yeah, it means that you, you're tossing them something if they're on the ladder and you're on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you toss, have you seen what? those videos? Have you seen those videos where people be bricking a house and they can get five, six bricks oh, at a time I have. and I have. toss That's them amazing. like that? Isn't that awesome? That is, but that is not what this That's means. That's what I had in my you mind. Throw up to. Throw, throw up, up to? More like you're trying, you're gonna like live up to that. No, of course, this is throw up to. This is an action. <laughs> this is a verb. You're doing something. Is it? Yeah, so you what? You should have seen it, Mama. <laughs> Even though she said she forgive me, every time we get in a fight, uh, all she does is throw up to I've me seen, what I did. Uh, yeah, uh, just bring it back up. Yeah, bring Not it be back willing up. to let throw something go. To. All I could think about was those bricks. <laughs> Okay. All right, one more. I don't know how you did on this test. Yeah, we failed. Hey, this... I did pretty good. Well, maybe, though, you'll remember next time now if somebody asks you what some of these are. If you hear some older person say them, you'll know. So, one more. Corey, what is a thunder pot? Not to be confused with a chamber pot. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be yeah. my guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I imagine it's called... Never mind. We didn't go into why it's called a thunder pot, but just imagine if you have to sit on the pot and go potty, if it's in a really tight and close space, it's going to sound like thunder. <laughs> you get a little bit of echo when going on, depending uh -huh. on what you ate. <laughs> Listen, that would have been a terrible thing. When we were mm -hmm. kiddos and you'd go to museums and stuff, They would that's what they would show you. And I'm like, so these people would, would wake up in the middle of the night. I don't care how cold it was. I'd have went outside. And I'd have been froze and I'd have been miserable. But outside I'd have went. I'm not going to pick one of my favorite pots to go <laughs> in. <laughs> how dare these people? You didn't pick your favorite pot. You yeah, had a pot had especially stay, for that. But if you just had to stay inside under the bed, I mean, if you're going to well, empty, must, if you must, empty it yeah. after you use it, you might as well have just should have went outside. Outside. You should have had an outhouse. Um, okay, so the Presley girls are against thunder pots. Yeah. <laughs> That's like crazy. But whatever you got to do, I support. Whatever you need to do for yourself. Well, back do in it. like the Roman days or whatever, some, somewhere over there, they they had bathrooms that were just it's just like a line of them just all together. Out in the there open. was no separating thing. And no. they used the same sponge on a stick. If you get what I'm saying. And you know what else they had? They did. They cleaned them, but I'm you just know saying what else it was they communal had? toilets. They had uh, servants that would sit on the because these toilets were probably made of marble, and they'd have somebody <laughs> sit on them just to warm them up for them. For the <laughs> they did. I know it. We learned about it in school. Mm -hmm. They'd have a dedicated person who didn't need to go to the bathroom, but they would just sit there with their butt and warm it up so that when the next person had to go, they didn't have to sit down on a cold Leave slab it. of marble Leave ready it. to go, All which right. that's gross to me. All right, to Katie and I to, that's to take my Appalachian vocabulary and turn it into potty talk. Into potty talk. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Alright, well thank you girls. Um, hopefully this made you realize some language that you need to 
need to start putting into your vocabularies. I'm gonna go over and say, hey, stop hogging the thunderpot. <laughs> Get on the thunderpot, Corey. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye. Peace and thanks for watching.